Hello, and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This is a complete walkthrough of the Game Gear version of Sonic the Hedgehog, played on Sonic Origins. It is a scaled back version of Sonic, but with different levels and bosses. One of the main differences is, is when you get hit, you will lose all your rings with no way to recover them like the 16-bit version. Also, Chaos Emeralds are hidden in the levels, not in any special stages. Like most Sonic games, you collect rings which will help you in taking a hit. Also, if you have 50 rings when you complete a level, you get to play a bonus stage. Most enemies can be defeated by jumping and turning into a ball and then jumping on them in ball form. The monitors with a ring on them will give you 10 rings. The crab enemies can shoot out some projectiles from their claws. The monitors with stars on it will make Sonic invincible for a short while and won't get damaged by anything, but still can get squashed or fall down pits. The monitors with red sneakers on it will make Sonic go twice as fast. The monitors with arrows on them is a marker for if you die you will restart from the marker, not from the start of the level. This will also be a good time to save your game if you are playing on Sonic Origins. Be careful on spikes that will outright kill you. Use the platform to jump over, the platform will drop down, and the next spike section wait until the platform reaches you. The first bonus level you can get if you have 50 rings when you complete an act, and you have 2 minutes to get as many coins as you can. If you get 100, you get an extra life, and there is a continue monitor to get in the level as well. Continues allow you to continue if you lose all your lives and get a game over, and you can start from the act again with a fresh 3 lives. Take your time, you have plenty of time to bounce and get some rings. Don't bother getting every ring before you bounce into the next section of rings. This level has the first hidden Chaos Emerald. Head down and you will have to head left with a crab in the way. A handy move that Sonic can do is run and press down so he rolls into a ball and can defeat enemies that way, as if you try to jump the spikes in the ceiling will get you. Continue on and you will be in some shallow water which will slow you down and your jumping will be different. Jump over the first spring and then use the next spring to get to the halfway marker. Head left and jump over the spring and you will encounter a new enemy, flying enemies that will periodically stop and shoot projectiles at you, and you want to defeat them as they are annoying. Keep heading left and down the waterfall and to the right is the first Chaos Emerald. Then head down and right back to the previous path and go back to where the marker is and then use the spring and the next springs to reach the top area. At the top area, collect all the coins and jump on the moving platform, then to get past the spikes to reach the end is to roll in a ball at the top of the hill and you will catch the small ramp to take you over the spikes.
The second special stage is a little bit more annoying to navigate because of the springs, but if you are playing on the Sonic Origins because you can save, it's not an issue getting lives and continues. The last act of every zone, you will face Robotnik. Also, you will get no rings. As soon as Robotnik appears, jump up to hit him. He will fly across the screen several times and then lower himself and boost from side to side and can kill you if he hits you. You need to hit him 8 times and like the 16-bit versions, you press the switch to release the animals and complete the zone. The bridge zone is the first zone that is not based on the 16-bit version. The first new enemy you find in this zone is spikes, and you can't jump on it. Either jump over or run into a ball, but I found that the first spikes I kept on dying when rolling into a ball, so perhaps just jump over it. Then jump over the gaps and there is fish robots jumping up and down, and can be defeated with a ball attack. The fish robots can be under bridges as well. The monitors with a bubble on it will put Sonic in a bubble and will allow one hit and they will lose the bubble and still keep the rings that they have. All complete flat bridges will fall so you have to run and not stop over these types of bridges. These obstacles you jump on the platform and it will activate the weight and the weight will make you jump higher and you can get even higher by staying in the same spot and the weight will make you jump even higher, handy to reach very high areas. To get the second Chaos Emerald, go up to the top bridge and stand on the first bridge section and allow it to bring you down and then jump to the left to collect it.
The second act of Bridge Zone uses auto-scrolling, a gimmick that Sonic Games does not really use much. It reminds me more of a Mario game. With auto-scrolling levels, you want to be in the middle at all times. That usually allows you to see where the next platform is to jump on. From this point, some of the platforms are above, so you want to try to be more of the right to allow you to wait until you see the platforms above and keep heading up and to the right. To the left of the beginning of the level is an extra life. To defeat Robotnik in Bridge Zone, he will pop out either on the left or the right hand side. Now I'm sure there are faster ways to defeat him, but I would hit him once as soon as he pops out and then jump to the opposite side and duck on the lowest point of the curve as he then shoots three energy projectiles at you, but it will never hit you and I prefer to play it safe. This zone is another unique zone made for the Game Gear version. 
Head the usual way right and when you get to the vines, drop down below to get the coins and you can get a shield on the lower platforms. You will come across an enemy called Neutrons who appear from camouflage and shoot a projectile at you. You can get an extra life if you jump over to the platforms in the waterfall and use the right platforms to reach the upper left platform of the extra life. I dropped down by accident. Watch out for spikes. They are common on the brown wooden floors. Cross the waterfall using the platforms coming down. Watch out for the spring, then continue right, waiting for the small platform to take you to the other side and then on the water there is barrels that will move in the direction you press to take you across the water. At the second waterfall with platforms, jump on the first platform and allow it to bring you lower and jump to the platform on the left and then take the barrel to take you to the third Chaos Emerald. Use the barrel to return to the right hand side and keep heading right. Use the spring and then traverse the long waterfall and get to the save point. Use the moving platform to reach a vine and then press down to spin into a ball and be taken to the upper platforms and then keep pushing right until you complete the level. The second act of the jungle zone is a simple level. You traverse upwards instead of to the right, full of enemies and spikes to avoid while traversing the various platforms to reach the higher sections. The non-moving wood platforms will fall down and you can spin ball underneath the crab. Then continue upwards and stick to the left hand side and jump gently in some jumps so you don't hit the spikes.
Jump over the vines and you will be on a small U-shaped vine when Robotnik appears. And as soon as he appears, start to hit him. He will drop a bomb and that bomb will roll from left to right. Still hit him as much times as you can while avoiding the bomb. If you touch the bomb, even with a shield, with the hit detection, you will also die. When the bomb stops, it will explode and he will drop another bomb. As usual, 8 hits is to defeat him. The Labyrinth Zone, another zone that was in the 16-bit version, is mainly an underwater zone. You start off by sliding down into the water. Sonic can't breathe underwater and after a while, there will be a countdown time from 5 and when it reaches 0, you will lose a life. There is air bubbles dotted around the levels which I recommend each one you come across to always get an air bubble before moving on. There is a shield monitor that you can get by using the spring, but watch out for the fish enemy. You can defeat these in ball form. Then continue left, down and right, jump into the burrow ball enemy to defeat them and drop straight down for a bubble. Don't worry about the 10 rings at the top right. Continue right, jump over the spiky poles, there's plenty of room to jump over them. Then you will go on some moving platforms that will bring you to the higher levels. It will lead you to spikes, so get ready to jump to the left on both moving platforms. Here, getting the 10 rings on the left is optional. Watch out for the spinning spike ball but jump to the right to continue on. Both options have surface air that you can get when you jump above water. Jump to the left and press the switch and there is an extra life on the right and then the exit. As soon as you go right, there's a burrow bot to defeat, then go down the water slide, then jump early on when you're on the second water slide for lots of rings and a shield. Go back on the slide and then to the water, there's 10 rings on the left hand side. Then quickly go down and right, avoid the ball chains and keep going down for some air bubbles. Go right and jump more spike poles. A lot less leg room in these jumps. There is a save point. Then quickly keep going, avoiding the projectiles from the statues. Up the elevator platform for a long ride up and jump left before you hit the spikes and get an air bubble.
Continue on, watch out for the spike ball and keep going up and avoiding the statue of projectiles. You will get to the surface. Follow the linear path and at the top left under some spikes is the fourth Chaos Emerald and then continue right to complete the level. You are completely underwater in this act, but you now can suddenly breathe, so no need for air bubbles. Completely optional, but you get an extra life on the left hand side if you jump over the spikes, then continue right for the boss. Robotnik will appear coming up from the gap at the bottom floor. Jump on him exactly in the middle so you can avoid the two projectiles and just make it back to the surface. Now Robotnik can appear in either the gap below or the two gaps above. If he appears from below like the start he will shoot two projectiles. If he appears from above hit him and then go to the opposite side and then jump over the missile that he fires. Do this eight times to defeat him. Another zone based on the 16-bit version, a lot easier but more maze-like. Head right and watch out for the flames on the ceiling, just don't jump and you'll be fine. And then after the second one, press down so you can take out an enemy called a caterpillar. They can only be defeated by spin attack or jumping on their heads as their bodies are spiking. Jump on the belts which will push you off the edge so don't hang around on them. You can get an extra life if you're fast enough before it falls off. The next area will have lightning traps and wait until it activates then when it stops jump over but watch out for the flames on the ceilings. Follow the linear path, hit the switch but jump back over as the door will close again if you hit the switch again. Keep going and spin attacking or jumping over the cat killers until you get to the exit.
First things first in this level is to get the Chaos Emerald by going up the top path and there is something you should do as well. If you don't want to backtrack as much as I did, as I had to go back around, go right across the linear path and then at the conveyor belt section, make it to the top and avoiding the flame projectiles and go to the top right section and through the door. Continue right and jump over the gaps but wait for the flames on the roof to disappear first and the third gap you can actually drop down and go right to a teleporter. Collect the 5th Chaos Emerald on the way left and what you should do to avoid backtracking is to head up and press the switch to change doors and then head to the bottom left which returns you to the 3 gaps to jump over and then back through the door and this time go down to the bottom exit. Here I have to go up and press the switch and do some backtracking all the way around and back to this area. Head to the bottom area, there will be ball hogs that will throw bombs but you can drop down and immediately turn the opposite way so you won't run into trouble. Jump over the gap and into the teleporter and then press the switch I missed and then go back through the three gaps and back to the bottom area. Now that the switch has been pressed, you can go all the way down, jump the gap and into the teleporter. And you can access the area with the conveyor belt. Watch out for the flames on the ceiling and be careful there is an electric trap at the bottom if you fall down. Then continue on and go past a familiar flame on the ceiling, a caterpillar to take out and then you have completed the level.
The last act of Scrap Brain Zone. There is no boss fight. You have to navigate a maze and then chase Robotnik at the end. There is rings in the level and they lead to the right way, but sometimes the doors are closed and you have to go around and access the door on the other side. So follow the rings and you will come across to a section that is blocked off. So go back down twice and then you can follow the rings until the exit. Watch out for lightning traps. Head left after the spring, press the switch and follow the rings and you will see Robotnik escape on a platform. The platform will come back and go on it to complete the act. The last zone you can see where the inspiration for the end of Sonic 2 came from, where it was two different levels, one is getting to Robotnik's sky base. The first act is full of diamonds that every few seconds will shoot up lightning in different directions, and you have to navigate through the level and stop. Wait until the lightning goes and quickly move on. The first enemy you come across you can't touch them, so avoid them, and then go up top after the enemy and duck so the lightning does not get you and you can get the shield. Continue on, lots of small platforms and lightning diamonds to navigate through, and it's a bit tricky. There is cannons that shoot in a diagonal path, it shoots four at a time. You will come across some walking bombs that will flash and explode when you go near it, and four projectiles. You will have to avoid when it explodes. <laughs> Before you jump on the platform that will move, wait until the lightning hits and then go on it to avoid the lightning. The second act to get the final Chaos Emerald and to avoid the majority of the level, wait a second and then jump to the left slightly to land on a moving platform and then jump from the moving platform to moving platform. There will be some projectiles that you might have to avoid and then jump to the left when you see a large screw and you will get the final Chaos Emerald. Head left, watch out for the guns that fires bullets and jump from the top of the gun to the next gun. There will be a smaller gun to avoid, 
and then go through the door and then to the exit to the level. The final boss in the game. Don't go too fast or you'll run into a flame. Robotnik will be hiding behind some glass. Damage the glass with a spinning ball attack eight times to, to defeat him. Now there will be flames coming out from the glass and it will always follow the same pattern. The first tank, the third tank and the middle tank. And it will shoot a homing projectile at you from the top that will head to where you are. Mainly go to the left hand side to avoid the projectile. Watch where the flame is and attack the glass as much as you can. When you defeat the glass, run after Robotnik and use the teleporter to end and complete the game. If you liked this video, subscribe to my channel where there are more complete retro walkthroughs plus achievement and trophy guides, secrets and tips from the latest releases. Thanks for watching.